it's your boy fat man welcome to the channel welcome to the new series dubbed out i'm hoping you guys are enjoying the series i'm doing my best right now okay fire force season three listen i haven't finished season two but i'm glad season three is coming out i'm glad i'm getting that dub and i love fire force a lot of people just don't like it because of uh the sexual nature in the end shut your bitch ass up you knew this <laughs> i've been here for years i love fire force it's a good fucking anime it's fun energetic it's got a little bit of sexy and coolness and it's also got a lot of badass ass kicking energy so if you fucking with me we don't we can't react to it but i'm definitely you know playing it on the side here it's kind of muted you know what i'm saying it's kind of a lot of shit's happening here in person it was like a fire fucking trailer so we got the innate i think fire force is gonna it's gonna somehow communicate and be related into believe soul eater so the creator of soul eater might be connecting the two and honestly that would be kind of crazy if you if he was connecting the two if fire force involving witches magic relate into soul eater because it would be very interesting if so because that would be to me something i wanted to kind of know for the longest and hopefully see kind of see kind of see what happens next you know with the awesome show because Personally, I want to know what's up with Fire Force and what comes next and down the line. And if he does, the, creators, the creator that created it connects it with Soul Eater. Because Soul Eater right here is fucking fire. All right. This is something that's got to be said. Shouts to Eddie Murphy and Beverly Hills Cop. Well, I think it's like Beverly Hills Cop 5. So Axel, so Axel F. So Axel's final outing as the Beverly Hills Cop himself destroying shit and just being goofy. But... I like the fact that Eddie Murphy gives us something. So check this out. Shout out to Collider. Uh, so I, one, another thing before I run out of time. Um, recently, uh, uh, Kung Fu Panda for the new Puss in Boots, they did very, very well. And it's led to people saying, well, when is Shrek going to be back on the screen? We started doing the Shrek four, four or five months ago. I, did the, I, I recorded the first uh, act and uh, we'll be doing it. This year we'll finish it up and there'll be another Shrek is coming out. And there's a donkey. Donkey's going to have his own movie. We're going to do a donkey. Donkey as well. So we're going to do a Shrek and we're doing a donkey. <laughs> Wait, are you recording both right now? No, not at the same time. I started recording Shrek. But, <clears throat> and that's, I think, it's coming out in 2025. And we're doing a donkey one next. Thank you for uh, that because I know fans are going to be overjoyed. And I really want to say congratulations on this and i know it's going to be a huge hit oh thank you i can't fucking wait man shouts eddie murphy and collida because that's a that's a perfect that's a perfect type of uh feeling right there it's been a minute since the last uh the last shrek but since shrek has gotten a weird weird cult following with the fucking internet and the the uh singer of smash mouth recently passed away uh this year or was it oh, last year actually that was the sad part and I actually love that. That's Shrek made me love Smash Mouth growing up and that song and other songs as well. So I'm glad Eddie Murphy opened his mouth and said something about Shrek and Donkey. I always want to know what the fuck is a good Donkey movie and how that's happening. So thanks, Eddie. Appreciate that. Well, tell me guys what you think. Are you ready for a Shrek 5? Are you ready for a Donkey solo movie? Like, let me know in the comments below. Cobra Kai is back, motherfuckers! Okay, so the cast has gone on a great tour. Cobra Kai is back. They're training. There is no more Cobra Kai. There's no more Miyagi-Do. And now there's just Ego Fang. Craziest fucking name. Or uh, Ego Fang Miyagi-Do style. Both the styles have come together in the tradition of how Mr. Miyagi would have wanted Daniel to finish his rivalry and actually work together. Very cohesiveness. I love the story. I love how everything is going. I love how everybody's fighting together. I love how all the actors are coming together. You see all the actors have grown. All the older actors, you can see that they look older. Like they're getting much older as this goes on. This is the final, final before eventually the Karate Kid movie. So I hope if this is the final, like final, final fucking season, they go off with a bang, they go off without a hitch, and they actually kill it. Especially the fact that now there's like an evil martial arts motherfuckers and evil ass niggas coming out of nowhere. So personally, I can't kind of, I can't wait to see what happens because I know Mr. Miyagi's karate mixed with Daniel's old rival and older rival. Now they're using all those three techniques 
together to fight unknown fucking evil. I fucking can't wait, man. I can't because all this ass being, everybody's grown up and this is it. Like this is a hundred percent it. I fucking can't wait. Especially when all the actors are grown up, they're all doing their own thing. And the final, yo, the final Karate Kid ending of something true, true fucking amazing stuff. I can't wait. Like, dead ass. And something might be setting up the Karate Kid movie. Hopefully. Let's find out. Let me know what you think in the comments below by the Karate Kid because I can't wait. I would react to it and play the sound, but there's been a lot of copyright shit happening. Not today. Not today. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments below about Karate Kid Season 6. Oh, I'll bet. Cobra Kai Season 6. The Last of Us Season 2 is coming eventually at some point. And they're going to wrap up filming this month, July. Hopefully is what they say. Honestly, I'm going to be real with y'all. We got photos of the actress that plays Ellie. We got photos of her girlfriend. We got photos of these peoples, the Sapphires or some other shit. Personally, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> fuck uh, Last of Us Season 2. Fuck Neil Cuckman. Fuck Last of Us Season 2. Fuck this. They, once they killed Joel, I didn't give a fuck, bro. Because Joel basically was our anchor towards The Last of Us. And you know they're going to kill this nigga in Season fucking 2. They're going to murk this nigga. He, he, he wrapped up quick is what, they, is what they said. So personally, I don't give a fuck about The Last of Us 2. All, everything from it can eat a dick and I don't give a fuck. Fuck this uh, shit. Because I didn't even watch the show. I just watched all the reviews and a lot of people said they basically fucked up. 100% fucked up. It got all these wide claim reviews and everybody loved it, but it wasn't received you know, fan to fan, whatever the fuck. But personally, I don't care for season two. People didn't care for the game and people aren't going to care for the show. It's going to end the same way. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you care about Last of Us season two or did you not give a fuck about the video game because, you know, they killed Joel and you couldn't kill the last character at the end? Let me know what you think. Okay, so I'm kind of redoing this Captain America part in the video. That's why if it's cut kind of funny, it's cut because yesterday they said there was a uh, Captain America Brave New World trailer and now today the Captain America Brave New World trailer dropped. But it's a teaser. It's a one minute teaser. Now we're going to watch the teaser, but technically I'm going to play it with zero fucking sound and just kind of talk over it because Marvel just don't like people reacting or reviewing their shit for some reason and you get copyright struck really hard so let's get into it captain america brave new world in theaters 2025 i got a problem with movies being announced so early and like what happens if you guys got to hit reshoots but it's february okay okay all right so we open up it looks like the white house oval office type of shit we see sam wilson we see the uh aka oh Jennifer Ross, played by Harrison Ford. I like where this is going. I like that General Ross is played by Harrison Ford, and he's probably going to give this a new, different look. But General Ross, the uh, original actor that played Ross, passed away. God bless his soul. He was a good actor. Uh, he's been in more things than just the Hulk, but he really stood the test of time as Ross. Like, he, like if you look, if you look like the actor that hate the Hulk, that man hated the Hulk. He looked like he got some hate in his heart for the Hulk. So we see... Uh, General Ross here talking to Sam Wilson. Can't hear because don't know what they're talking about. I'm not trying to get copyright struck. So let's continue. Ross running for president, all that jazz. Obviously, somebody might assassinate the president during the future. So it's giving him some very critical news. This is serious shit that's happening. Airplanes, fighter jets type of stuff. This looks interesting. Oh, got a look of John Carlos Esposito. Missiles being fired, explosions clapping, all this other shit. It's very interesting. <clears throat> we see the new, uh, oh shit, oh, Hydra? Some type of Hydra goon? Some type of, oh shit, here we go, here we go. Beat, this man jumped out the window this February. I don't see much, uh, you know, superhero stuff here, but it does very, it seems very, oh, here's a shield. We got a spy energy. We get, oh wow, we're going back to, the creation of the Winter Soldier. This is interesting. I actually wish the Winter Soldier was in this. Mm. John Carlos Esposito. All right. This is looking pretty good. I cannot lie to y'all. From the looks of it. And we get the picking of the shield again. John Carlos. 
Don't know the shield. Don't know what super soldier. Blowing up what seems to be a different White House. Oh, shit. Here we go. Here we fucking go. Hey. Oh, and, and if, we, if we rewind it back, if we rewind it back enough, which was kind of cool, and some, of the, some people may have not noticed, but I'm going to notice. We got the Falcon with the new Falcon. So we got Sam Wilson with the new Falcon. Okay. Which is probably that kid that we've seen. That's cool. I like that. Those are, those are good moments. Those are good moments. Captain America, Brave New World. I want to know what the brave part is about. Oh, shit. Oh, and our first look at the Red Hulk. Was that our first look at the Red Hulk? Let's see. Oh, that's the Red Hulk, baby. That's the first look at the Red fucking Hulk. If we haven't seen the first look yet. All right. All right. And then he just goes, shut that shit down. All right. I personally, the trailer looks good. I like the way they're doing it. I like the way things are coming up. Brave New World looks pretty good. Tell me what you think of the trailer in the comments below. This is dubbed out. Peace. All right. We're still here. Dubbed out. This is kind of, I think, wrapping up the final stuff. Except for like some team and ninja show news. But, you know, there's just new comics out there that, uh, that all of the creators that have worked on Turtles have worked on newer comics. And there's a bunch of variants out there. So cash those variant covers. But other than that, Cartoon Network is dead. Let's check this trailer out. I mean, not trailer, but it's more like a little animation talking about Cartoon Network and what's happening. So if you're fucking with me, let's get it good. Wow, so this is where cartoons get made. Not anymore. Cartoon Network is essentially dead. <gasps> and other big animation studios True. are not far behind. <laughs> he says Spirit Halloween, goddamn. He's got a point. Cartoon Network is dead. A lot of cartoons have been dying like, I know in the pandemic, they were holding things up, but, you know, eventually, it was, they were getting costly, so they split the bill for them. What the hell? What happened to all the animation workers? <gasps> a lot of them are unemployed, in record numbers, in fact, and many have been unemployed for upwards of a year. But they carried the industry during the pandemic. That's right. When COVID first hit, animation was able to operate completely remotely, making it one of the only forms of entertainment that could continue production uninterrupted. Damn. Yeah. That's true, but they were work also working from home. They had less deadlines. They were even able to take their time at first, but then some somebody's splitting the bill for all this animation. Somebody's splitting the bill, and if the anima the animations didn't make back any money, how the fuck do you expect to have a job? But studios decided to pay them back by canceling projects, outsourcing jobs, and wedgie. This nigga said, "I give you a wedgie." Fuck out of here. That's crazy. It's en masse. But why would they do that? Why else? Greed. Big studios make their finances look better by reducing spending and cutting staff. CEOs and executives reaping the monetary benefits for themselves. So they want to reap, huh? I'll show them reap. I don't think you'll be doing much with a plastic scythe, but you can help by spreading the word. Post about your favorite Cartoon Network shows you wish were still around using hashtag RIP Cartoon Network and stay tuned for more ways to help tag by following this account. Animation is under attack. Which side are you on? I'm on the side that, you know, animation can still stay alive. Frederator. I remember Cartoon uh, Frederator. And if some of y'all don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to show you. Here we go. Cartoon Hangover, a.k.a. Cartoon Frederator. Uh, Frederator is no longer fucking standing. I think they haven't... All they're doing is posting a whole bunch of other stuff from a long time ago. They just keep reposting and reposting, trying to get back engagement, even though shit has been dead for years. There's other reasons why Frederator no longer is around. I'm not sure why. There's just a lot happening here. I don't Because they were able to take Be and Puppy Cat, which everybody knows about Be and Puppy Cat, which is this cartoon, Be and Puppy Cat. They will take Be and Puppy Cat and put it on Cartoon Network. I mean, Netflix. But for some reason, that was the only cartoon that seemed to do well and survive. So what happened to Frederators? I think Frederator couldn't. They couldn't hold up. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Cartoon Hangover, Frederator. They just couldn't stay in the game. And if you think I'm lying, I'm gonna try to find a channel Frederator. I used to be uh, sponsored or supported by Frederator, and Frederator fucking died. That, that shit cut me the fuck off. So I never knew what happened to Cartoon Hangover, Channel Frederator in general, even the people working on Frederator. 
don't know what's going on. And at this point, it's kind of like crazy that, yeah, see right here, Cartoon Frederator. Frederator. Somehow, they were trying to do their best to make animations, make cartoons. Now they're just left uh, doing all these stupid timeline videos and there's no new cartoons from them. They were pumping out new original shows, Bravest Warriors, Being Puppy Cat. And they did a lot of success with Brave and Warriors. They were trying to be the cartoons of like the generations to change cartoons and animation and get paid from the internet. Except they were doing it one way and not realizing there's another way to get paid. It's from television, the internet, social media. I think at first it's getting into the new platforms. I wish Frederator would return. 2.7, 2.17 million subscribers in their dead. Personally, I'm a little sad, but at the same time, it's like, it shit happens. You know what I'm saying? Their Twitter, it's still active, I guess. They they still follow me. Shout out to you, Frederator. But other than that, there's kind of been shit April, April 10th. There's almost like no updates on their channels, except for they're just talking about recaps and shit that really no one, man, that doesn't matter to me. So personally, I'm on the side of animation winning, except animation there needs to be a way to make money from it. But other than that, let me know what you think. I appreciate you guys for coming. Thanks for watching Dubbed Out. I really do appreciate it. And now talking about all these cartoons and also sooner or later video games, give me some time. I've just been kind of like busy and just trying to look for stuff to talk about. But if you see me, you fuck with me, I appreciate you. I hope you're doing well. And also, enjoy your day. You know what I'm saying? Some good stuff. Thanks for watching Dubbed Out. Make sure to like, yeah, subscribe, bitch. hit the bell icon, be notified from me to you. Remember to never give up, never surrender, keep on grinding. Peace. And I am out of here. <laughs> so, you know, it's Dubbed Out. Appreciate it. Shit. Get bit on drum. Get bit on drum. You little niggas gonna stop you acting like my, gonna shit gonna like my shit ain't the grill. Some of you one. niggas get your front teeth for grills. <laughs> Ain't loving these fake hoes. Room smelling like eight switches. Room service like 2K. NBA, I'm ballin', nigga. All them niggas falling like all them niggas. Talking shit, I saw them niggas. Now they daughter want a picture. Rough ain't it? Fuck famous. Yeah, niggas too real, got the most haters. Wrote a story, so Stephen Curry. How we feel to be golden?